Hello everypony and welcome to an uh, the start of a new series, <laughs> hopefully. Um I'm going to be playing uh uh Minecraft Modded Survival 1.7.10. Um got only a few mods right now, that's because 1710 doesn't have much. But since mods seem to be quickly updating for 1710, I thought that this would be a good time to start as any. We can always add more mods later after all. So, so here we are in a completely new world. Here we are with our bonus chest that I always get. Um, just some of the mods that I have are Tinker's Construct and Metallurgy and a few others like that. Mostly really, um, my screen says I have like 34 mods, but I really only have like 6 or 7 individual mm. mods. They just each have a lot of stuff they add to the game. So, um, that said, let me turn down my, oh no, that's not, it should be fine. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get started here. No. Uh, we can start out actually by creating a blank pattern. Ooh, we got four blank patterns from that, that's new. Uh, stencil table. A part builder, a crafting table and pattern, make a tool station, and I believe that's all we need until we get a chest. Well, no, actually we have a chest in mind. We can just make a pattern chest right now. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a little bit of a glitch. <laughs> Oops. Um, well, oh well. That's not even gonna help us being there. Here, there. Alright, uh, let's make another uh, blank pattern. I like the fact that you get several of them from that. Um, then let's make a mm -hmm. tool rod. And then let's make a pickaxe. And a cross or a tool binding. Um, should be stone pretty much straight down here. I need about two for a stone pick. Let's do that. One of these, one of those, and one of these. Then over here, whoops, pickaxe. That piece, that piece, and that piece. Yay! We now have a stone pickaxe. Um, that said, no. should probably either build a house down here, or I should go I think I will start out, since I've already been down here, I think I will start out by doing exactly this. By building a house. Have the torches yeah, from the bonus chest. Mm. I just put a spike. They just put a spike. Apparently, maybe there's a cave system nearby. That'd be cool. So 
Like have the house go right into a cave system. That would be an epic start. <laughs> a good start for us. Um, hi! It's a blockling! No. Don't remember how to, uh, tame them. I have to, uh, look into that. Pattern chest is still weird. I think something broke in the last version of Tinker's Construct. <laughs> Uh, that's all right. I think it's a a beta anyway. No. Uh, I need the stencil table. Right there. No. And I actually need to pick up one. Spider's definitely close. Actually, I'll turn this down to about 15. That's not quite as loud. Uh, pattern chest. Uh, pump builder. Tool station. There we go. Dirt. We will lock it up like that. I think you can get in. <laughs> uh, crafting table. We do a crafting mm -hmm. station. You can actually throw the crafting station because it's really cool. And yeah, I can stick these in here. I don't need them. Uh, let's see if we have this. Let's make a shovel. Actually, let's make an Axe head and in fact make an axe itself. That did not work the way I thought it would. <laughs> I have an axe. Now we can come out here, and I mean we're kind of in the plains, but there's a savannah right next door, mm. so we can go hit that up. And there's definitely a cave over there, though. So we'll want to investigate that a little bit later. And now let's cut down some wood. ourselves some red acacia wood. Alright, we got ourselves a little bit of wood. That'll help us out in doing some things soon. Um, thing we can do, as we talked about, is we can kind of surround this. This is the entrance to our house. That was some lag. And then we can go down here to the crafting station 
and we can make door then we come back up here and we place the door and yeah there we go <laughs> let's make this three tall because that bothers me let's put dirt back there don't need that dirt back there um, let's make another wood. Or wait, yeah, I have wood. What am I thinking? <laughs> Thanks, I didn't even think I had any wood. Let's make a shovel head. And then we can make a tool rod. And a Shovel head. Throw those in here. Make a shovel. And I have broken out into the sky. <laughs> there you go. I fixed it. There must be a cave system nearby, though. I still hear that spider. And because the other side is six, let's do six this way. There we go. That actually might be too much space without any light, though. Well, I'll just have to get some whatever so I just have to get like uh charcoal to make more torches. Am I brightness all the way up? That's no, not that might see that might be why it seemed dark. Never mind. I might actually have been fine. I think there's a button that you can hit to... Mm. Whoa! Um... Okay. I don't think I want to do any of that. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> I don't know what any of that was. Um... Come up here, and there's a Ow. Actually, hang on. Uh, sword stuff. Need a sword blade and a white guard. And I guess we can do a hand guard too. I don't think I'll be using that one yet. Because what I want to make is just a standard sword. And sword blade. And I like Tinker's Construct because you can do all kinds of like fancy stuff with it once you get really involved in it. Blood sword. There we go. And at the moment I'm just making stuff out of stone. But later I'll be able to make stuff out of all kinds of different materials. And I'll be able to even mix and match materials to make even cooler stuff. So while it may seem a little odd that I'm doing like a stone sword here and a stone pickaxe and such with Tinker's Construct, th there is actually a reason. Mostly I can repair that stuff. Which is extremely handy. It's a lot of cows. And you can't do that with standard tools. You know, once they break, they just shatter into a million pieces. You know. Hi, Blockling. 
I still have to remember how to tame you. I have to look that up before next episode. Yes, we do have the Blocklings mod. It is, in fact, another mod that we have in here. Put some charcoal in and start cooking some raw beef. Since I don't need it for torches, I'll do that. Alright. Um, there seems to be some kind of noise going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and start digging down. Gotta love it. Well, at least charcoal's easy to replenish. So you can figure out where that spider sound is coming from. I'm really certain it's like over in this direction. Ah! Actual coal. That's even better. Even better than charcoal. Well, not really. They're actually about the same. <laughs> that means I now have an immediate source of... Hi! Found the spider. Now have an immediate source of torches, and we have found the cave system that I figured was uh, down here somewhere. <laughs> uh, I did not bring with me a tool station, so I need to go get that. Or I need to go get one, rather, not that specific station. <laughs> I'm going to get a tool station. For that I need more patterns. I also need uh, another crafting table. So I need more wood. Oh crap, you know what? I'm stupid. I forgot I always pause the sun. Uh, it should probably be about that point in the day. I always pause the sun before I start recording. And I completely forgot that I had done that. <laughs> I was like, I'm surprised that it's not getting close to night yet. And then I realized I forgot to unpause the sun. Oops. <laughs> well, I fixed it. I even set time to a, a later time. I didn't just undo the thing. I'm sure it would probably be a bit later than that though, but oh well. One of these, followed by one of these. Make me another tool station. Always carry a portable tool station with me. You never know when you might need one. Acacia sapling? Yes. Did in fact get an acacia sapling. Nice. In that case, I can go plant that near the house, and we'll have an infinite wood source. like the first episode of any like survival series like this. It's kind of boring. Because I mean it's building a shelter, starting out, that kind of thing. Introducing your mods, whatnot. Ooh, what is this? I can pick it up. Tin gravel. Over. I actually do not think I can pick this up. <laughs> I was actually really risking it by trying to dig that up, but apparently I can do it without a problem, so 
It's nice to see. And now it's becoming dark, so let's get out of here. What the hey? You know, makes sense. <laughs> uh, it's becoming night now. And I have no food. Uh, I mean, I have food, it's just back at the house. So, let's return to the house. Grab my food. And we can eat some foods. And yeah, we've we've accomplished a good bit already so far. That is a good thing. I guess I had a couple of apples. Well. We plant this sapling over here. Now we have more wood. And getting close to about when I would usually sign off. So a few more minutes and I will do just that. And there we go. That is broken now. <laughs> this is what I like about this mod. I can throw in some cobblestone and a pickaxe. Instead of having to make an entirely new pickaxe, I just use one bit of cobblestone and I get my pickaxe fully restored. As long as I'm carrying a tool station, which isn't hard to do, I mean, I usually carry a crafting bench with me anyway, so it's not like it's any different to carry a tool station. You know, I am basically keep my tools in prime condition. <laughs> so, that's pretty nice. And I can repair anything. So, this is one reason I really enjoy Tinker's Construct. And why I almost always have it in every playthrough I have ever done. <laughs> I greatly enjoy having it. What is this? It's copper? I don't have Wayla. It wasn't updated yet from what I saw. That is copper ore. That's another thing too. Oh no wait, I think I only have metallurgy. Well, and Tinker's Construct. So, three and H. Let's see, does that tell me what mods are from? What? Nope. Oh well. So we don't have a thing that tells us what mods things are from. But, oh well. Whatever. <laughs> Speaking of playthroughs, I may decide to do a 1.8 playthrough once that comes out. I haven't fully decided yet. Can I mine this? Yes, I can. I think these are sulfur or something. Zinc ore. I can use that in Tinker's Construct. I don't know, can I use that in Tinker's Construct? That's metallurgy. And I don't remember them releasing uh, metallurgy to Tinker's Construct patch yet. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> I'm gonna need some gravel soon. Because I have some iron. I'm gonna need gravel, sand, and clay soon. It's probably something. Ooh! Experience ore berry bushes. Sweet! We have some essence bushes. Actually, need a dark place for these to grow. So, leaving them down here actually would probably be a good idea. We've got an entire like cave system here for our house to exist in. You know, I'm sure we could find some place for these. <laughs> Well, 
make sure that I don't have to step on any of them because um, they hurt. <laughs> that in, throw in another cobblestone. Yes, orberry bushes hurt to touch. So, ow, ow, hey, <laughs> that's nice because I can just do this, and yay, five levels of experience, <laughs> just that quickly. Alright, well, I think this is a good spot to sign off at. Um, if you have been enjoying the video, please feel free to leave a like. Feel free to subscribe, and yeah, I will see every pony next time. Keep calm and pony on, every pony.